You know, to be honest, I truly am not sure when or where I came up with this video idea, but it had to be done because, um, because I wanted to, I don't know. Somehow I was thinking about rice cakes for whatever reason and thought about how um scared i am of them genuine fear just the concept of them freaks me out man like discs that are just dry and crispy <laughs> i don't eh, eh. however i will admit that i didn't realize there's like varying flavors of them i thought that there was just like one bland ass flavor and that was it and i was like that sounds terrifying to me my fear is entirely based in um theory that's kind of the theme of these videos so no one is surprised i'm sure now immediately after filming this video i made the tragic realization that i had completely forgotten to do the whole come on in or go in the bin system for each item however in the grand scheme of things i think you'll realize that it doesn't really matter as you watch the video anyway um with the help of my mom i got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flavors of rice cakes, and we're gonna try them today. Most people put toppings on them, and I'm not gonna be doing that, which may skew my perception. I don't care. You're here watching it, and we're gonna have fun or be in pain, but that's kind of fun in a weird, twisted way, right? But here it comes. We have to thank today's sponsor first, so let's do that. You guys already know. My great friend, my lovely pal, my amazing partner, <laughs> Raycon. Um, we're in love. Truly, we are. I have had my Raycon earbuds now for over a year at this point, and I use them constantly. Now that I've been staying with my mom, uh, if I want to watch YouTube at 4 a.m., which happens often, um, I will put these in and not bother her because her room is right next to mine. And if I have to get out of my bed for any reason, I don't have to take them out. I can continue listening. Raycon is truly making new waves in the electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for half the price without compromise. From the way they design their products to how they price them, they're really doing things differently and prioritizing the customer's experience. And I know we're all saying this because it's the start of a new year, but genuinely, I want to start exercising again, and Raycons are perfect for that. You don't have those dangly wires getting in your way. Plus, Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns, match whatever little vibe you want. The company was founded by Ray J and tons of celebrities use them. Shout out to Snoop Dogg yet again, my close personal friend um, who uses these and I know that because he told me. He told me we're friends. Raycon also has a 45 day free return policy. So if for whatever reason you're not satisfied with your earbuds, you can send them back. And are you ready? Are you ready? Say it with me y'all. How many hours of playtime? Six. Six. How's the Bluetooth pairing? Seamless. Seamless. What about the base? There's more. <laughs> and how is the design? Compact and comfortable, comfortable. with a noise, noise isolating, isolating fit, fit dude. dude. Whether you're taking up a new hobby or just want to make your day-to-day -day life a little more comfortable, Raycons are a perfect little addition to your life. So click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash Riley to get 15% off of your purchase. Huge thank you again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. And now back to uh, me being dramatic about dry things, dry things. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with the lightly salted. And before anyone screams at me about wasting food, um, I'm giving these away. <laughs> to people that will actually eat them. So don't worry, we're not doing that today. Your go-to guilt-free snack. Try topped with Greek yogurt, raspberries, and lemon zest. Mmm, you know what? Oh, but that photo, does that not look kind of terrifying to you? Oh, the, mm, I already don't like the scent. Oh my God. It feels like styrofoam, please. Like, what is that? I was honestly expecting it to be like kind of heavy. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna stop being dramatic. It's a, a rice cake. Like, do I need to scream about it? No. Oh. 
you know what? I can see how this would be good with something. By itself, horrific. I hate it. Ugh. Once it's moisturized, it's not that bad. It reminds me of something, but I cannot pinpoint it. Fear? <laughs> anyway, moving on because we have seven more to try. I'm going to be bilingual soon, by the way. You just, you guys just wait. I'm going to do my intros in another language once. Let's do one that I maybe won't hate. Let's try the caramel because I tweeted about this at one point and some of you guys said the caramel ones were good. So let's try. Okay. The smell is already slightly better. Okay. This one says cream cheese, peaches, and honey. You know what? That does not sound bad. Honestly, you could put cream cheese on anything though and I'd probably eat it. Oh. Oh, I almost hate that more, dude. Why? Genuine question though. Do y'all eat this by itself? Because I'm really starting to realize that you probably shouldn't. It tastes like really bad caramel corn. I can't decide if I like it more or less than the last one. This just tastes like nothing now, now that I've had this one. Let's get really terrifying and do the, oh, white cheddar. I'm afraid of the stench of this one, to be honest. Mm, okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would smell. Mm. <laughs> that was a burp. Um, that's what we're looking at. Cheers. Dink it and sink. Okay. Wow. It's not good. <laughs> but not as bad as I thought. I thought it was gonna stank, dude. It's like an extremely bland Cheeto. I still hate the texture. That I don't think is gonna change. <laughs> Ew. What do you put on this? Avocado and corn salsa. You know what? Maybe I'll do a part two with toppings because I can see how that might be okay. I'm not vomiting, you know? So I think that says something at least. Next. Oh my God, I'm getting crumbs everywhere and I'm on my bed. I'm acting like I don't already just eat in my bed, but okay. I strangely have a little bit of faith in this one. This is tomato and basil. And I love that. <laughs> I really like tomato basil flavored things. Ooh. Wait a minute. Ooh, you put on burrata cheese, which I don't know what that is. Never had it. Tomatoes and fresh basil on it. That would kind of hit. Way too lazy to do any of that today in this video, but wait. Hold on. Because that looks like something, man. I'm not gonna lie. The seasoning. Oh, what does it smell like? Mm. I mean, it still has that same weird... I don't know how to explain the smell of rice cakes, dude. But they smell like rice cakes. But with a little bit less... Nast. <laughs> okay. Wait, that kind of hits. <laughs> I, w I still would not choose this as a midday snack necessarily, but the flavor is there. It's the texture that throws me off. Hmm, I'm not mad. Catch me with the cream cheese. You know, next. Everything bagel flavored. Mm, this worries me a lot. I like everything bagels and I like everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. But, but what do you put on it? Cream cheese, smoked salmon, and onions. Maybe I'm growing as a person because I with smoked salmon and cream cheese on a bagel dude like i know i joke about how i'm a picky eater but truly that's <laughs> getting less and less the older i get i don't know why i'm getting excited <laughs> because it's not like this comes with 
the salmon on it. I think I forgot that for a minute. It smells like the plain one. There it is. Oh. Mm. It honestly just tastes like the regular lightly salted one with like some onion powder on it. And I like the onion powder. You know what? This video might have changed me with some cream cheese or something on it. I might thrive. Next. Oh! Okay. Apple cinnamon. I have ha ha hopes for a living. However, almost all of these have tasted exactly the same, except for like a little twinge of flavor, you know? This one you can apparently put yogurt, dried cranberries, and pecans. Pecans. I still don't know how I even say that. That's the vibe. Smells like all the other ones, but with cinnamon. <laughs> Hold on, brother. Not that bad. The texture <laughs> still really throws me off. I do not like the texture at all. I'm trying to just focus on the flavors. And that, uh, the flavor is good. It's still very like low key. These are mad healthy. At least it looks like it. I'm looking at the the nutrition facts and almost everything says zero what if it just tastes good to me because i'm filming this this is very sad i have them all sitting on this table in front of me just in a sad little pile okay so the last two are technically flavors that we've already tried but they're a different brand so maybe they'll be different i don't know maybe they'll be worse ShopRite brand, <laughs> um, white cheddar, popped corn rice cakes. Are they all corn based? So is the term rice cake a lie or are these ones just corn, whatever. <clears throat> okay, they smell the same. This one, however, does not have suggestions for how to top them. So ShopRite, get on your game. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this looks almost identical. Why am I surprised? I don't know. Oh, immediately saltier. <laughs> uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, 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 it's worse. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I think it is worse. I thought maybe because the flavoring was more intense, I would like it, but it's worse, I think. That's the problem with these taste test videos is like, I don't fully trust my own judgment and I don't know if the opinions that I'm giving are real. So we have one more, so let's try that. Now I'm afraid because this one is uh, same brand, caramel popped corn rice cakes. And we all know how much I loved the first caramel one, which is weird because I like caramel things. That just, it didn't go for whatever reason on that other one. Hello? It smells like almost nothing. Mm. All right, well by appearance alone, I can already tell that, that this one has more caramel flavoring on it than the other one, I think. Well, actually maybe not. I just don't know what I'm talking about. Cheers. Last one. Ooh. Mmm. See, okay. I don't hate it as much as the first caramel one, but is that just because I'm used to the rice cake? What? Is that just because I'm used to the rice cake vibe at this point? Maybe. It's not that bad, but it's not good either. That's kind of my consensus for all of these. You know what? I was gonna rank them all, but that's too hard. Sorry. I'm just gonna say the plain one, horrific. Tomato basil one, kinda hit. And I can see how with toppings on them, all of these would be edible. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I would love to one day do this, but with facing actual fears, not just food fears, because I'm, to be quite honest, running out of those. <laughs> I'm not as picky as I thought I once was. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Raycon again for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys again soon. Love you, bye.